All right, so our very last part of our calculation is calculating our horizontal distance. It's worth two marks, and it's actually not very difficult to do this part. All the hard stuff was done in the previous exercise where you're trying to find the time taken. All right, so when we're talking about we're talking about something horizontal, so we have to use the horizontal component. So our initial velocity is our horizontal component, which is the same in this case, 6.9 meters per second. Um, yep, and we also need the times. So we had time one and time two, and uh, well, they were, if I remember, yep, 0 0.3 and 1.1. 1 .1. So let's do it from smallest to largest, 0 0.3 seconds and 1.1 1 .1 second. Our acceleration is zero because there's no acceleration um, in our horizontal there's no horizontal acceleration okay and that's all you need so let's do let's call it s1 to find our first distance or displacement here and we're going to go ut or 6.9 times 0 0.3 plus half lots of acceleration which is 0 times time squared so uh, 0 0.3 squared. And the good part is this end section here is just going to cancel out because of the 0. So I could just go 6.9 times 0 0.3. 6.9 times 0 0.3 gives me 2.07 meters. All right, S2 equals UT. So 6.9 this time times 1.1. .1 plus half times acceleration times 1.1 1 .1 squared and we're going to get um, 6.9 times 1.1 7.59 meters okay so what I'll do to just sort of explain what this means is um, my, my rocket does a parabolic path, like so, and I've got two targets here, right? Now, I want my rocket to be, to have a horizontal distance from the target of 2.07 metres, because if I'm 2.07 metres away from the target, it will hit the target as long as I keep it on the 45 degree angle, as long as my velocity is the same. Or if I was to have it, 7.59 meters from the target it should also it would hit it on the downhill slope another thing I'd like to point out that's really nice and has let me know that I've done all my calculations correct is if I add these two distances 7.59 and 2.07 I get 9.66 meters which if we go back to here our horizontal distance at the very in step three, our horizontal distance travelled was 9.66 metres. So we can see that our calculations have worked out correctly.